Hey everybody, this is Mischievous Mel and I'm here with Take Me Home's own Hayes. Hi, thank you so much for having us. Are you kidding? Okay, why I'm so excited about this, Animal Rescue. We are so excited to be here. Danny Wimmer Presents always invites us out to the festivals and all the bands sign stuff for us and it all goes to help the animals. So we're just so excited to be here. Okay, so a lot of people say help the animals, but that's really just like, you know, adopted or, or it goes into the ditch. What do you guys really do with them so that people, the people that don't know what you do can either help you, fund you, donate to you, pick up an animal, pick up an animal, they're better than people, and you know, explain. <laughs> so we've been doing rescue for a long time and we do do the adoption side, but we've now switched over to the prevention side. And the prevention side is spay and neuter. That is the solution to animal overpopulation. That is the solution to the entire problem. So what we do is we fund mobile veterinary hospitals to go into low income areas all around the world and we pay for it, it's on us. They get free medical, free spay and neuter, free microchipping, free vaccinations. And you know, it really helps reduce overpopulation and it really helps the community too. See, and I'm, I'm all for that. We come from a place in Texas, White Right, Texas, and the creepiest part of this place was literally when you walk down the street, I'm not saying one or two cats in the alleys, I'm talking like 20 or 30 cats and people are just feeding them but then letting them loose and they just keep multiplying. And I mean, it was weird. It was like a Scooby-Doo movie. It was really fucking weird to me when I saw it and it broke my heart because I'm like, what happens to these animals? You know, you can feed feral cat colonies. It's the humane thing to do, but trap, neuter and release them. A colony will not keep growing and they won't multiply and they're actually good for keeping rodent population down. So it's humane, don't don't hurt them, don't move them, they're there. And you know what, they were somebody's cat. It is our problem. They're only there because somebody let their cat outside and it was not fixed. So they're there. So now just help get them trapped. Rescues will help you. Reach out to your local rescue, get them neutered. They'll tip their ear. So you'll see like a little ear tip. It's like a little clip off the ear. So you'll know that animal has already been done and they, they can't reproduce. So the humane thing to do, please let the animals stay where they are, but let's help them. It's, it's not a good life to live outside. And the fact that you do a rescue, all of our dogs were rescues. We're down to two now. The most we had was six and they're family. I mean, we literally bought houses based on where are the dogs gonna be? It wasn't, where's the kid gonna go to school? It was, what about the boys? Okay, we think we need to get her back to six dogs. Yeah, right? You're, you're the type of home we love. But, I mean, there's every breed that needs rescue. There's purebreds, there's, there's cocker spaniels. Any breed that you're looking for is out there. So if you can't find it right away, don't give up. And you know what, older dogs, when you adopt an older dog, they know it. They instantly know you saved their life. It's a different bond, a different connection. And honestly, that's all I would do because it's an instant soulmate. And what hurts my heart is like movies that are out there saying, get a husky, buy a husky. Because I had a husky and I absolutely fucking loved him. He was my heart and soul and I had held him in my arms when we had to put him down. And I'm so sick of these people that are like, I want it because it's cute, but they don't understand. It chews things off the wall up till 14. <laughs> Okay, People I have to understand. So glad you said that because huskies are so popular right now. And guess where they're ending up? In the animal shelters. Because exactly that, huskies are so high energy. And if they're not spayed and neutered, guess what they do? They constantly jump fences, they try to get out, they get hit by cars, and they end up in the local shelter to the kill room dead. So please really research a breed before you just go out and get one because huskies what we have to do for our rescue huskies we have to put a gps tracker into them and you can get gps trackers because they're notorious escape artists and they're they're kind of a difficult breed and they're a great breed for husky people who really know the breed do you explain what a husky, a husky does now we he, we had him for 14 years and he you just put them down not too long ago and the house is so quiet I would come home and when we lived in California you know the houses are like this and he would just sit in there and tell me about his day but it sounded like a baby being I mean if, if you didn't know it was like me taking a whip to an infant the way that he screamed he had that high pitch and the blue eyes and then a thunderstorm would come and he would hide in the shower and oh my god I'm sorry I'm overtaking this video but I miss my baby so much and I'm just 
it breaks my heart to see that these shows do this and and then you just they just let them go i mean we just also rescued a an akita pyrenees wow you yeah. take high energy breeds He's really kind of lazy and stupid, but yes. <laughs> and he thinks he's a cat. I mean, 155 pounds, he's down to 100 pounds, but he thinks he's a lap cat. So I just want to say what you guys are doing, thank God, people, fund this kind of thing. You know, I mean, this is, like you said, it's our responsibility. You don't, you wouldn't let your, your teenage child go out and just reproduce. Don't let your cat or dog. No, please, please. The one gift that you can do for the world for your animal is to spay and neuter. I, I beg you to spay and neuter. The animals live longer, they're healthier, they're just better overall family members. And please, if you need spay and neuter help, assistance, any advice, contact us. We're at Take Me Home Rescue. Um, our Instagram is at Take Me Home Rescue. Our Facebook's at Take Me Home Rescue. Our Twitter is at Take TMH Rescue. Um, we're all here to help. We're one big community, and the animals need us. So. Well, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you for what you do. Thank I, you so much. Uh, thank you so much.